some people say when it comes to making a video, the toughest part is the camera or the lens or the settings or even figuring out what you're gonna talk about. It isn't, it's figuring out which song to use. Have you ever thought about Okay, so it's not necessarily essential if you're making a video like this to put music in the background, but sometimes it's nice. It helps set the mood. It makes it a little bit nicer than if it was just a completely static video with no background music or sound at all. And no, picking the song isn't necessarily the toughest part, but you'd be surprised how much time I've wasted in the past going through song after song after song only to land right back on the one that I started with at the very beginning. Okay, but that's a complete side issue. Now, maybe you've been in this scenario before, like me, which is that you've been editing a video and you've got it down to around 10 minutes, which is what most YouTube videos are. Maybe it's a little bit longer, maybe it's like 15 minutes. But regardless of the fact, you found a song that was perfect. The only problem is that it's like three and a half minutes, which is clearly shorter than the video that you're making. Now, sometimes what you can do is you can use multiple songs and kind of blend them together. I've done this before, but this gets a little bit painful, particularly if the mood of your video isn't really changing. So if the mood of your video isn't changing from one part to another, then it doesn't really make sense to change songs unless they're very similar. And if they are very similar, sometimes even then it can be kind of weird transitioning from one to another. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can take the song and then repeat it over and over and over again. And maybe you can try to blend the beginning and the end, but depending upon what specific song you're using, maybe it's really quiet at the beginning and it gets really loud at the end. If you try to blend those, most people are probably going to notice the transition from one to another. Fortunately, I found a super simple way using Audition that's completely automatic that can take your song that's two to three minutes long and make it an infinite length and it can blend them together seamlessly. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how. Okay, so I have this song here. So let's go ahead and drag this on over to the Final Cut Pro project that I am currently working on. And here we go, we've ran right into that nice little problem where the song is significantly shorter than the length of the video that I'm working on. So we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, Adobe Audition. And by the way, even if you're not working with Final Cut Pro, since we're just creating something in Audition, you can be working uh, on Adobe Premiere, whatever video editing software you use, it doesn't matter as long as you have Adobe, Edition, uh, Adobe Audition installed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to new multi-track session just gonna name this my music. Of course, you probably wanna pick something a little bit more original than that. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my song and I'm gonna drag it onto the top track. Make sure we move this all the way over to the left. And then we're gonna look over here and yours might look a little bit different, but you're gonna wanna dig into this left-hand sidebar and find the option that says Remix. And then all we're gonna do is click Enable Remix. And you're gonna see up here, it's gonna start this nice little analyzing clip process, which will vary depending upon how fast your computer is and how long the clip is. But then what we'll see here is that it has identified how long the clip is. But then magically, I can go over here and I can readjust this to literally any length and Audition is going to loop this and it's going to find the most efficient or effective place to make that cut or make that loop. And then it's going to loop over and over again. So like I said, we can do this an infinite length. I know that my video is right around 15 minutes long. So we're going to change my, what I typically do is I go a little bit past. So we'll do about 16 minutes. Then we're gonna go to file, export, multi-track session, entire session, click okay. Then we'll go ahead and I'll close this now since I don't usually save this audition file. So now what I've got is my mix down. So it's created a .wav file, which has a new length. So I'll go ahead and pop this into my Final Cut Pro project. There we go. And I'm gonna still gonna need this clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and press V to change that. But as you can see, I now have a completely different looped version of this song which I can now use in order to fill the entire length of my video. There we go. We just use the song's natural fade out. 
to just use the end of that song and we just kind of stitch it right on top of that whole remix. And that's pretty much it. A really short and quick tip for you today. One that I use almost every single day and anytime I'm editing a YouTube video, particularly one like this. So if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in that next video.